doesn't want Jennifer Aniston's hair. This is not only a tangle spray and a heat protectant, but apparently it is also a styling trick that Chris McMillan uses on Jennifer. Go Jen, I really like this. Oh, la gente. What is up my warrior angels? Welcome to yet another video where we test out new hair care for the first time on camera. And today, what could possibly be the secret product behind Jen Aniston's natural wavy textured look. The Wild Marula Tangle Spray, which happens to be a collab between Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan, Jen Aniston's longtime hairstylist, the author of the famous Rachel Cut, a weightless live-in mist that effectively detangles and smooths while restoring natural movement, manageability, and shine without weighing the hair down. Sulfate-free, silicone-free, essential oil-free, fragrance-free, dye and drying alcohol-free as well. And when it's free of everything, you do wonder, okay, so what is in it? Currently, it has a blend of fermented oils and amino acids, plus it has a pH of 4.5, so it is acid and hair loves acidity. So let's begin. We're going to follow each and every single step that Chris McMillan followed on Jen for her almost naturally looking textured waves. But something tells me my hair is way, way crazier than Jennifer's on another level. So my hair is already shampooed and deep conditioned. Chris McMillan uses the Casta's Olio Relax hair mask on Jen Aniston, but I am not gonna go too deep into the application and the air dried results because I already have. I have a full video showing you guys the before and after. It's gonna be linked right here. Just with this one, I cannot get Jen's hair. Definitely, 100%, the star of today's show is going to be our Tangle Spray. All right, here we go. I'm gonna spray liberally wow like I can tell you this is a very nice even mist <sighs> okay so I just found a con this contains four fluid ounces of product and I have a feeling it is not going to last that long and it's not a cheap product, you know? But let's just wait and see what it can actually do. It may be worth it. I don't know. I guess we will find out soon. <laughs> it does detangle. I'm still going to comb through a little bit with my tangle teaser. Honestly, there's like no tangles there. The mask also helped detangle. Let's be fair with that. And apparently the next step is to let the hair air dry naturally while it is on a bun. And that is honestly a really good trick for kind of taming the mane when you have very frizzy waves. There we go. So I guess you can even do this overnight. It's still winter time here. Don't want to get sick. So I'm gonna go now, let it air dry for one or two hours whenever my hair decides to fully dry. And then I'm gonna come back so that we can continue with the next step. Hi. I'm back. This air drying process definitely is taking a lot longer than I expected. Look at the stopwatch. Are you ready for the big reveal? Okay, so it is not 100% fully air dried just yet. And of course, the fact that it is twisted in a bun just makes the air drying process a lot slower. It's just how it is. We're gonna move on to the next step. He says he only blow dries the roots. So for that, I'm gonna use my NT24. I guess the entire point of this step is to kind of lift 
the roots the lion queen so we're not done but i'm gonna give this another 30 minutes to fully air dry and we're back now fully air dried finally <laughs> for the next step i'm gonna need a glove <laughs> What Chris does, there are certain curls that look a little bit like nicer and more defined and other areas still look pretty frizzy. Even though, yes, both the product and possibly the bun really helped. So here's what he does on Jen. He basically uses a wave iron or curling wand or whatever you have. Remember, this is a heat protectant and so is the Castas Audio Relax. So again, in the areas that I don't see the wave in a good shape, I'm gonna like going twice around the wand, like it's a really, really loose wave that I'm trying to shape. Oh, this is gorgeous. This other one right here doesn't look right, so I'm gonna curl away and then leaving the tip straight. So we're getting somewhere now. Okay, so I'm gonna do twice that it needs to go around the barrel, make it slip a little bit, and it is really loose. Enchanté. Okay, I think we're getting closer here. So I just want to undo. Okay, I really like this. It is so nice and voluminous. It didn't use that much heat, at least in comparison to the amount of heat that I use every time I blow dry. I'm definitely getting some vibes from that Instagram post. You know, I'm looking at the picture, like if my hair was this length, Gotcha. No way. It is definitely a minimal heat, um, spring, summer type of hairstyle. We could totally just leave it like this. But I get that there's something missing, more like undone, even a little bit, dare I say, dirtier. He mentions that he uses a Shuamura paste that I don't have. I'm gonna try something that I think could be potentially even better. This is the Olplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. You're also repairing the broken bonds. You're getting that extra something for your hair's health and it seems to go really well in line with this minimal heat approach. But honestly I think it's for the better. Um, I could be wrong. I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm gonna start safely with the tiniest amount. She has all this section a lot more undone and you see like I think I'm getting there. I think it's doing the trick. He's also separating like different pieces and it seems like in some pieces he's like twisted the hair a little bit to separate it from the rest. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think this final step was really important. Beach waves are not so curly. A more bedhead or lived in type of look. I think we did good. Pretty close. I really like this. Go Jen. Once a trendsetter, always a trendsetter. And this goes to show you that you don't really need the exact same product to achieve the same result. Sometimes an there's a similar product that you already own that may give a girl a hand in a time of need. So all in all, falls in the nice to have category for me. Good natural ingredient type of formulation that is always a big plus, especially if you're looking for a healthy everyday styling routine. It's not magic, but I like it. And with all those things in mind, I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's a good product. A little bit too pricey, but good. I guess it's a small price to pay to feel like Jen Aniston for a day. <laughs> Oh my god, that rhymed! <laughs> okay, this is a wrap. I hope this video helped you or at least that it entertained you. Honestly, that's my main goal. We hang out and have a good time. As always, every single product used and mentioned throughout this video is going to be linked in the description box below, but only if you need the product. Like, don't go buy things you don't need just to support my channel. And like I always say, no matter what life 
throws at you, girl. You've got this. I will catch up with you guys again on I wanted to give credit for this video idea to Bella Cacciatore. She's a beauty assistant at Glamour. And of course, I will be linking the full article in the description box below.